I guess I guess you aren't I guess you aren't prepared. I'll go find something. Wait, I had something prepared. Just a second here. Okay, this one, this is a good hadith for that I just got. It was page 340. Narrated Abu Dar. Once I went to him, the prophet, and he said, By Allah, in whose hands my life is. Are we on? Okay. Narrated Abu Dar. This is 2.539 from Al-Bukhari. Narrated Abu Dar. Once I went to him, the prophet, and he said, By Allah in whose hands my life is. Who, oh, here we go. This is about, okay. Whoever had camels or cows or sheep and did not pay their zakat. That's your obligatory... Um, what is it? Charity. Obligatory annual charity. Those animals will be brought on the day of resurrection far bigger and fatter than before and they will tread him under their hooves and will butt him with their horns and those animals will come in circle. When the last does its turn, the first will start again. And this punishment will go on until Allah has finished the judgments amongst the people. So you could you, that could be happening to you for thousands of years before you you well, get judged. Well, they're super fat, and if they get bigger, they can't walk or something. No, this is in the afterlife. Yeah. Well, listen, what? No, it's whoever has camels or cows or sheep and did not pay their zakat, those animals will be brought on the day of resurrection far bit bigger and fatter than before and they will tread under their hooves and will bite them with their horns and those animals will come in circle and when the last does its turn, the first will start again. The punishment will go on until Allah has finished the judgments amongst the people. So that's in the afterlife. Anything's possible in the afterlife. That's where people are going to be crawling on their faces and to the call of the date, the, for the judgment. They're crawling on their faces with their eyelashes, their eyelashes. Yeah, yeah that's possible. It's going to be creepy. The, uh, they, the wicked are going to be made to do some, it's going to be pretty scary. I'm not going to want to be on the one of the, on the wicked. That's, that's scary. Okay, you got your sermon ready now? 1970. Let, let's have a recap of 1972. What did you have some afterthoughts? It sounded like you were starting to think about it again the other day. A recap of 1972 and the <laughs> alien saved us from the giant sun flare. I don't know. I'm glad they did. <laughs> that was like two years before we were born. Who were they? The ones that did it. They're out of the 144. There's 144,000. Oh, that's coming back to me now. The 144,000. Huh? There's the amazing, the magical 144,000. Yeah, the alien races that, uh, that were talking about doing it, but 144,000 didn't end up helping. It was only like... You like the you like the noisemaker? <laughs> what was that? I know it's like a duck that quacks when you squeak it. I mean when you squeeze it. Can we tell people what happens when the pole shifts? Is that where we left off? 
crawling on their eyelashes, they probably will be. You probably figured out what it's going to look like. Ew. Well, the wicked will be made to do terrible things, that's for sure. Yeah, let's talk about the secret government in case nobody really knows yet. Whether you talk or the secret government, the Illuminati, 